All right, you love looking beautiful, right? Thousands of skin care and cosmetic products out there offer you promises of youthful beauty, just like Debbie. But did you realize some <laughs> of those creams and powders can do your skin more harm than good? Mariah Kelderman found a website that can help you weed out the good from the downright dangerous. And she tells us what to look for tonight in this Five on Your Side special report. The FDA doesn't require companies to test their cosmetic products for safety, so a watchdog group called the Environmental Working Group has compiled a database of 25,000 products and compared their content for toxic chemicals. Searching through the site, we found five popular products branded hazardous. All May Clear Complexion Makeup and Powder Compact in Certain Shades scored a 10, the most dangerous level, because it contains titanium dioxide, an ingredient that may cause cancer. That alarms dermatologist Dr. Todd Schlesinger. Their concern is that the micronized uh, version, which produces what we call nanoparticles, or very, very tiny particles of the product, could be inhaled during application of the product, and that um, those could get stuck in the lungs or whatever and produce uh, problems that way. Revlon Moondrops Cream Lipstick in certain colors scored a 9 on the hazard scale because it contains the toxin BHA. BHA is, actually, is essentially a preservative. Well, it's been listed for a long time as a potential human carcinogen, although there never have been any specific studies to prove that fact. This NARS blush in certain colors and this Dove deodorant in certain fragrances were both given an 8 on the hazardous rating scale. That's because they contain silica. Now, silica is simply sand put in certain products to help them go on easier. And the reason why they think it's of concern is that it may be inhaled uh, during application of products. I think that the risk of um, inhaling the sand particles from applying uh, deodorant to the underarm is very, very low. And I think that the risk of penetration into the system is extremely low as well. Dr. Schlesinger says the information on the website is educational, but don't be alarmed by it. If you look really into the data, you'll find that there really, really isn't any hard proof behind many of the ingredients. He believes allowing the consumer to have access to all the ingredients they're putting on their body should be a must. I'd say there's always some inherent risk to everything that we do, um, but I certainly feel it's a good idea for the consumer to be aware of what they're putting on so that way they can make an educated decision. Marika Kelderman, Live 5 News.